Hi, let's go on to, thanks for coming back. This is gonna be assignment 14, the last of our assignments. Um, and this is the section two, the heart disease information that we used in assignment 13. Um, before we were looking at the, the mean, here we are looking at the decision tree option. So um, at the end of assignment 13, I saved that data and we have what we used then we're going to use an assignment 14 for the decision tree. We have uh, the resting heart rate, the max heart rate, cholesterol, age, um, exercise, and major vessels colored. We have those variables. We want to make sure that our target variable is the cluster. So that's what we added when we saved our information from before. We made the clusters. Now um, we're going to use that for our decision tree. Let's see, this is exactly what Orange came up with on its own. So a minimum number of two insta inst instances uh, in leaves and um, do not split the subset smaller than five. So let's see what our tree looks like. Wow, we have quite a big tree. I'm wondering if we can lower the levels and see if that will make our, make it a little smaller. Let's get all the information in there. And we'll zoom out. So that's quite a lot. Um, we still only have the two categories because that's what I used. Uh, in the last one was just two. That's what Orange suggested was the best option. Um, and looking at this tree, there's a lot to take in. Uh, this determines the most important is here at the top and it says age is the most important. Then it says max heart rate uh, determines the next splice of our decision tree. Uh, the major blood vessels versus the exercise. And then this one goes back to the age like our last one did in our last video. Then down to exercise, cholesterol, max heart rate, cholesterol, cholesterol. Looks like we should take care of our cholesterol. And this is the resting heart rate. So it really just depends on a lot of information to take in on where you're going to be located in these two clusters. It is relative to the parent. And we don't really care about which one it is. So. Let's see if we can make our tree um, a little smaller. Let's put this at 20. Oh, let's put this at uh, 10 and see what our tree looks like. Four levels. I think if we change the levels, it really changes the information. Um, and it just shrinks it a bit. So now that we're zoomed in a bit, we everybody can see what's going on. Again, we're going to start with the age. Um, if your age is above age 54, then you're going to be in category one, more likely. Uh, if you are younger than 54, let me see. I believe that goes the other direction. So if you are, here's my age, and I'm a less than or equal to 54, then I'll be in category two. And here's my age, I will be uh, greater than 54. I'll be over here for the max heart rate. So category one, category two. Younger are in category two. Yes, that is consistent with over here. So with your age, it goes back to age, the younger you are, you'll be in category two, and then the older you'll be in category one. So um, again, this goes back to the heart disease. And if we are younger than 54, then uh, the next deciding factor is gonna be our maximum heart rate. And uh, if your maximum heart rate is greater than 155 maximum, so you've been working out, doing some exercises, whatever, then you're going to be in category two for sure. If it is less than 
your maximum, you cannot get above, um, then you're going to be in category two, possibly. It's, uh, the shading also has to do with it. Here is your major blood vessels colored. Um, if you have uh, your major blood vessels covered and um, by exercise or by maximum heart rate, depends on which category you're in. Uh, let's move on over here. So we are over the age of 54 and our maximum heart rate uh, is the next deciding factor, most important. Then we have age and exercise. Um, if your heart rate is less than, your maximum heart rate is less than 152 beats per minute, then you will go into category one and then decide if you're this part of category one or this part of category one. Depending on the shading has to do with how relative it is. Over here, um, and that is because we lowered our levels. If you go up another level, um, there's red again. And over here, there's red again. So you know you're at the bottom when your circle is completely filled in. So I wanted to point that out too. Okay, so our maximum heart rate, but we're not at the bottom of this decision tree. We're still, we just went down four levels, but there are more levels to look at if you wanted to. Um, but we wanted to keep it a quick decision tree. So uh, here we have the age. And if you are over 59, you're automatically in C1. And if you're younger than 59, you're automatically in C2. So um, the decision tree is easy to read. It's easy to look at. Uh, the, the less depth you have, the less factors you have, the quicker it is. And we like those fast, fury, frugal trees um, are easier to get your point across to an audience or something like that if you are talking to the general public. So uh, thank you for looking at this video. It'll be assignment 14, uh, section 2 for the heart disease data that we used in assignment 13. And I uh, hope that improves your education. Thank you.